Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome for this new Jenkins infrastructure meeting. Today to the agenda, the first thing that I want to announce is we got an approval from DigitalOcean to sponsor the infrastructure. Um, so Damien lead that effort to his Kevin who's, um, I mean, Gavin is a DigitalOcean employee now, so maybe that helped, but yeah, that's really great. Um, so with that money, we'll use it to add a, a mirror um, to, our, to our mirror infrastructure. Uh, we still have to decide where we deploy that mirror. We have some suggestion to deploy it in, in India or somewhere in Asia um, to improve the situation over there. But yeah, this is something that needs to be um, decided. And the second thing is we'll have the ability to deploy a small Kubernetes cluster, and we are planning to use it for um, agent for our CI infrastructure to release our dependencies on Azure. So if you are interested to work on that one, I just created the DigitalOcean account. Um, and so this is a very new project that we are starting on. So that thing. Um, to the agenda today, we have a few things. So the first one is last Monday, uh, so yesterday, I did an upgrade of the Puppet uh, version. So we are using Puppet Enterprise. Um, we are using a small Puppet Enterprise. We are still using the free tier right now. Um, the motivation to do that upgrade yesterday was we, so we have to go back to the Rackspace accounts and we were working to migrate archive to Jenkins.io to a different machine. And we wanted to test the Oracle Cloud with the Harm um, machine. The reason for that is they are very cheap. It's Arm. And we have one gigabyte of network bandwidth. So that's the, I mean, we have the biggest uh, network bandwidth for um, the size of the machine. But the limitation was we had to ramp up Ubuntu 20.04 and we had to, to be on the puppet version uh, 2019.8. Um, after a quick evaluation, that was not a big upgrade. I just have some notes. So there is a link to the upgrade note that was pretty trivial. We still have some, I collected some, in the note, I collected some tasks that we have to prove to do for the next major upgrade, but we are, uh, we are uh, on track with that version, which is great. Um, the next stable version is puppet seven, which should be ready, I think in September. So we are not too far in the past um, with our puppet code, which is that's nice. So right now, um, I'm going to reorganize the notes. So what, what's the next step? So we are almost ready to deploy, um, to move archive to Jenkins to Oracle Cloud. Um, we still have minor features, uh, minor code that I would like to bring first. So the first one is there were some manual um, change apply to the archive.jenkins.io that we have to work the, and we have to write the puppet code for it. That's one thing. Um, the second one is how we provision the data on archive.jenkins.io. So I opened a PR. I don't know if he's, if I put the link in this note. Uh, no, but I can put the link later on, I'm open for feedback. So just briefly to understand the big picture is right now, each time we generate new packages, we push everything on a specific machine. And from that machine, we push Artifact to different location, our CUS and Mirrors, um, Archive to Jenkins, IO, and then so on. So that's, that central machine is a key component of our infrastructure. And then what I'm doing here is, instead of having that machine that push Artifact to different location, we just have mirrors that fetch their own artifact on a regular basis. And if we want to trigger a sync, we still have the ability to run a script um, using an SSH connection. So that's what my PR is about. So feel free to make comments there. Um, any questions so far? So, so yeah, I, I hope to, to, to recreate that um, like space machine by the end of the week or at last next week. So that's the target for me. Um, the next major topic that I want to, to briefly talk here is regarding the issues we had with Artifactory over the past few weeks. So last week, um, GFROC upgraded. Apparently, it was the issue was related to the size of our database. So just for yeah, just for the context, several weeks ago, GFROC migrated the instance that we were using from 
somewhere. I have no idea because I don't have access. And they moved us to the Chief Rock Cloud. Um, and so I guess they undersized a few components such as the database. And so what happened is they increased the size of the database. And now we were able to finalize the security release. So that happened um, by last week. But what we noticed in the process is what used to take us one second or two seconds took us one hour. And so we now have to investigate with Chief Rock to understand why it's taking one hour. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's the, the current state with that issue. What we want to be sure is the release process does not affect us for the next security release. That's our target. Next topic is about um, Docker images. And that one, I think Damien is better than me to, to do a quick update. Um, yes, uh, so with the work of team mainly, um, we are now able to, we started experimenting building multi-architecture. Um, we are currently working on being able to build only on Intel machine, but build the images for IRM and other platforms using BuildX capabilities. So we are playing around on that. It mainly involves enabling KEMU. The reason why we want to do that on CI Jenkins IO is because we don't have a lot of specific machines like the IBM machines, the IRM machines, and we will want to uh, allocate this machine only for trusted where the image are pushed and where security is a concern while building with KMU on the general day-to-day -day pipeline is uh, far is completely okay, even for uh, executing images and running test harness. Uh, but right now there are some issues with the test harness. There were uh, bad tests that uh, had to be removed. We enable parallelization. There are still some work on the performance. So Tim and I are working on that. Uh, the main challenge is being able to move all the listing of images inside the centralized file instead of duplicating that information on pipeline, build, and test steps. Uh, it involved, uh, alas, a lot of uh, make and uh, uh, shell uh, scripting. And the Docker buildx tooling is still a bit young or are missing features. So we, are, we might want to give them feedbacks. Uh, we are working on that. I expect something in the upcoming days. And on the other way, thanks to uh, to team and uh, Jesse Glick. Now the GNLP agent images for Windows Java uh, are using Maven 3.8.1 on ACI for CI Jenkins IO. So right now the virtual machines and the container build on CI are now using the same Maven version. Um, about that topic, that's a topic I want to raise. I can do it right now or a bit later. Sure, feel free to raise it now. Okay, so right now we have a repository named Packer Images, which role is to build uh, the operating system images for the virtual machine agents. That repository is using the same uh, scripting for provisioning to build both AWS and Azure machines, virtual machines, uh, for Windows and Ubuntu, and also Intel and IRM on certain cloud. My proposal is that all the container images that we are using, like the ACI uh, images, um, my proposal is to build them with Packer as well, instead of separated Docker files. The reason is that we don't want, it's really an issue when a developer, um, a contributor has different environments where you don't have the same Java or the same Maven or the same curl, the same shell or PowerShell version. So the idea is, in that case, instead of using Docker build or buildx or specific Docker stuff, we let Packer handle these builds. I used to do this on previous gigs. Uh, there is a pro it's adding a new provider today for building a Windows mach uh, virtual machines. We have AWS Intel and uh, Azure Intel. So that will add a new standard that's a uh, Docker. Just for my own understanding, do you mean building Jenkins agent or also like uh, our custom and file Terraform Docker image. You mean every Docker image is using Packer? No, only the images that are used for the ACI, so the base images. Okay. That might have consequences, of course, because we still need to have... Uh, the, the, the idea is that 
when we use Kubernetes or SCI, sometimes we need a specific Docker image with just the bare minimum because mainly the most use cases are with a pod, multiple uh, container. You have one container per command line almost and an additional container for GNLP. If we have such use case, then we, th th we will keep using specific images with specific scope. However, most of the ACI builds are, should be the same as the virtual machines. Most of the time we use ACI, it's, it's container used as a virtual machine because we have Java and SSH and PowerShell and a, a bunch, it's a kitchen sink images. So uh, my proposal is that ensuring we have by default always the same base because we can test the output on Packer. That's the same. When we update a Maven, we update it on a single place. Same for whatever dependency we have. And we keep the specific images like the one we have on the infrastructure specific for Terraform, specific for Packer. Thank you. Thanks that means that mean depreciating the GNLP agent uh, images on CI Jenkins IO. So we keep them provided for the community or because it's, it's a specific thing to deprecate publicly, but us in C on the infrastructure, we stop using these images. Yeah, if we go down that road, so we should be clear why we are deprecating GNAP agents, so. Yeah, here I'm not. I'm not stating we should deprecate the images. Uh, sorry, maybe deprecating is a uh, is a uh, not the correct meaning. Here it's we stop using agent using uh, with these images. No, right. my, my 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 point here is, it's really useful to use the same images on the Jenkins Infra community than what the Jenkins community is using because we test the tools mm -hmm. and that helps us to identify issues. So I challenge you to find a single test on these images, even on the community. No, I'm not saying that we have tests. I'm just saying that um, we identify issues and we try to, to solve those issues. And so if we want to do something else, my point is just like, we should be clear why. Okay. Um, so, something, just something important to have in mind, that it's still building Docker images and Packer is able to push these images on a registry. So the idea will be instead of Docker build, Docker push, that will be Packer build, Packer push. Thank you. So we keep the same workflow and the images are still available for the public, except it's Packer, which, the, which reader, uh, instead of reading a Docker file, it start an image, provision it, and then snapshot it, like it does for the virtual machines. And the okay. size is not an issue because, I mean, Java. I said enough. <laughs> well, uh, all the open GDK image are EV. So either it's EV because a bunch of layers and the final size is big and built by Packer, it's still the same. So I can, my Thanks. proposal is before taking any decision, it's just I will build a proof of concept and I will show you a, a concrete example. Yep, definitely. Thanks, Damien. Any other topic you want to bring, Damien, Mark, or Aditya here regarding the Jenkins infrastructure project? Uh, so I, I still have one open. Uh, you, you're freezing for me, so I'm not sure if it's on my side or not. Is it working for you, Damien? Uh, same same for no. me. Yeah, same for oh, me. Okay. We lost okay, okay. Zoom doesn't want Mark to ask questions. <laughs> Yeah, so if Mark has connection issues, we may be dropped from the meeting because he's hosting the meeting. Okay, right. Um, so I'm counting to up to five in my head and if he's not coming back, uh, then I propose to stop the meeting here. One, two, Okay, so <laughs> I'm the host now. <laughs> so that's okay, that answered my question. Um, then I think that we don't have any other topic. Um, so feel free if you if anything comes to your mind. Um, we'll have another info meeting next week, and there is a link to this document to the, to the one for, for next week. Feel free to add any topic you want to cover there. Um, and yeah, thanks for your time.
see you on RC. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you.